Let's look at uh, Darn That Dream. Anybody tackle that one? No? Oh, well. No takers, huh? Okay. Um, I'll play a mine of that one. It's the same key. Same ending chord, although I, I fingered it different. So this one was, was uh, a tune I'd, I think, think I probably had played it like years and years ago, but never did a, a like a full-fledged arrangement of it. Um, I, I did, I did put this in the, the video, but I'll, I'll bother to explain a little bit about it. What, the only thing that I felt like I could do with this one, because um, the tune, I mean, I guess, I guess lots could be done with it, but I, I didn't find a whole lot of, uh, that, that I was drawn to trying to do something different. Uh, I, I basically tried to take a, a pretty straight ahead approach to the, the song itself, but because of that, I decided, well, the only way I might be able to make it a little bit more interesting is if I come up with a, an intro and an ending that I liked on this one. So, so I worked for quite a while on that. Um, the song, you know, is, is a... Okay. That's the first day. Uh, but so, the, so for me, the thing that drew me in as the the sort of signature musical sort of hook in a way was you know it's it's doing this that little shape that rising thing that's that's sort of the gimmick of the tune in a way so i said well that's probably a good intro subject you know and maybe a good ending subject too so um so i tried to imagine like i'll try to go through this a little quicker than it happened because i think it took me quite a while but um i imagined like a rhythm and um, an amount of time first. I think that was, the, that was the first thing. Okay, well, how long should this intro be? Da 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 da. Is what was what I really came up with. That just felt like okay. Well, that's that's normal. That's straight ahead. That's right. So um, so I said okay. Um, what would be how like what what does an intro have to do? It has to set up the verse. Okay. Well, what's a good way to set up the verse? Well, practical and lazy guy that I am, I say, well, how does he how does the song set up the verse after the bridge? Uh, and it sure enough, uh, it's the, it does a nice thing. It, uh, the bridge is uh, it's an E flat. That's a, that's a, that seemed like okay. Well, that's how he sets it up in the song. Why don't I just end up there? So, so here's what I had. I had the, the I had the form. How many bars I had to have? I had the melody idea in terms of shape. I didn't have the, the notes yet, but I knew the shape of it, and I knew how long it had to last. So, and I knew where it had to end. So da 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 or, or like a let's see, like so. Like yeah, and so the last, uh, so yeah. Well, I think I, I think I said okay. Well, that's what I, I came up with the ending. I worked backwards basically, and I think this is a great, uh, great strategy for a lot of these intro kind of things. You know where you want to end up. So, like, if I, the, the the bar before the last one was going to be. So, um, so that was. So that was, yeah. Yeah. okay, so, so where does it have to start to end up right? And so I just start counting. If you start on the original melody, it ends up on the A. That's not where I want to end up. I want to end up on the B. Uh, right, so, so I have to start a, st a whole step higher. So the melody had to be... song starts so then I had to come up with chords so I, so um, I said well what, what could work and I tried a bunch of things um, a few of them I think I I remembered to put down the video I don't remember what they were anymore anyway um, 
after a lot of failed uh, attempts to find something, I said, I kind of gave up and said, well, what about like, what's, what's a good sounding chord? Like I forget it. I was trying to find like voices moving and, you know, parallel fourths. I tried like stuff that seemed to just kind of move up chromatically it didn't seem it seemed cheap and not not fun somehow i came up with it has to start on e and so and what i liked about that was that each of those chords the melody is the juicy part of the chord the e on the g g sus chord or whatever the f major seven over g and it works with this melody too and and then this one is a C minor 11th. That's a nice juicy melody note on that. Uh, and I liked that that there was movement up a fourth because that's always that's always strong and powerful. So, so I did it again. Yeah. I did it again uh, here. And that seemed that seemed to work for me. So, um, so that's kind of a brief, uh, sort of shrunken version of this took me a while, but, uh, that, that's kind of what was going on, I think when I was coming up. So, so here it is. And I did, I did the same, the same thing for the ending. I had to search, search for a while, but I'll play it now. Here. Same idea with nice. the melody at the end. So wow. um, I had to search for the right place for the melody and also find chords that would work. And so I worked backwards for that one too. When I was look, I said I want to end up with a nice juicy uh, G chord. You know, so I thought maybe uh, I would end up with this is the melody. So I looked for a way to get there, and then it seemed too high and weird. Uh, and then it turned out that the, the original key of the melody ends on the A. And I said, okay, well, I can, get, I can use this chord, which I, I think will be good. So uh, and then I just had, so I, so I said, well, what's the one just before the last chord? Like, uh, it has to be, uh, that's like, like, well, what am I going to do with that? You know, and I didn't want it to be chromatic, but it turned out like, the, again, the, the, that, that root movement of the bass up a fourth was what, clinched it for me because the D chord you could play that major 7 uh, flat 5 chord and accommodate both those melody notes and then have the bass go you know bass go up from so I, I sort of thought of it worked my way back and then sorry so, so that kind of ends up in that that spot so yeah anyway hope that nice helps really nice uh, explain the process because that's that's the idea here I, I wanted to sort of see if i could somehow better uh kind of open a window into how my brain works when i when i do this kind of thing um and what it takes but this is these this is really shrunk in terms of time because it it uh it 
there are definitely dry spells, you know, and I, I would visit it like over the course of a week or two, like every couple of days I go back and say, okay, what, what is, how does this strike me? Do I, what do I change? What does it need? You know, that kind of thing. But, uh, but that's that one.